Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today I'm going to try to do something that I tried two years ago, and that is Bokashi. I've had this issue where I can compost about 70% of the materials that I have, but there's a good 30% that I feel are not being composted, and those are foods that have spices and seasonings on them that have been cooked, some meats that have gone bad or say, you know, we didn't eat them, and then of course bones. And we get a lot of chickens with bones, we have turkey with bones, and you know, sometimes the beef has bones. And I wanna try to compost these things. Now I've thought about it before, I could throw them technically in a worm bin if I broke them down, but that's a lot of work. Uh, it's also really hard on whatever appliance you're using to do that, so there's a good chance of it breaking. And I just wasn't sure that that is really what I wanted to do because there's a huge chance of drawing some unwanted creatures to your bins when you start adding meats. So I thought I would try this again. Now I tried this two years ago and you can see the link to the video I'm gonna put up there. And really towards the end, it smelled so bad. I ended up just dumping this in a hole and just throwing away the bucket and everything. It just smelled so bad. And I realized after doing more and more research that I made mistakes and I'm gonna own up to those mistakes. I did not drain the bucket every day to every other day as far as the liquids off it. That's what really causes the smell. I didn't press all the air out of it. That also causes it to smell. So I did a lot of things on my end that caused the issues. And I want to try this again. I would love to be able to compost some of these things that really just don't go belong or go into a worm bin. And then the other thing is, is that I've seen some videos recently where people have taken this Bokashi compost. They've dumped it into a pot with some soil on the bottom and holes and then put some soil on top. And then when they dumped it out, it was 100% soil it looked like. And on top of that, there were worms in it that had migrated up into the bucket. And I think I wanna try that with one of my worm bins. I wanna dump it into something that's a little bit smaller with some holes and see if they go up and migrate into this and eat through this material. So let's start by making a compost, or a Bakashi compost system, I should say, with two buckets, a lid, and a drill to get going. So I'm gonna bring that up and we'll take a look. All right, so here I have my two buckets and the lid. So the way this works, the lid to the side here, is that you nest these buckets inside each other after you drill holes in the bottom of one. And in the process, any liquid drains down into this bottom bin and then you dump this. And you have to dump this daily to every other day. And that's where the mistake I made. I let it sit for a week and at that point, it built up with a lot of liquid and it smelled absolutely horrible. Um, it was to the point where I had to hold my breath when looking at this stuff. I couldn't talk and it was just, it was really bad. It smelled really bad. I couldn't open it up in the house. So we're gonna try this again, but this time I'm going to make sure I empty out the liquid every day. And then on top of that, I'm also gonna use something to push down on the inside of the bin. And I'll show that later when I fill it up with food. Now this is the Bokashi that I'm using. I bought this on Amazon a while ago. I'll have a link in the uh, description below for to purchase it. The buckets, just standard Home Depot buckets. Uh, I couldn't seem to find any that were free. And this is going to be our top bucket right here. So I'm going to turn this over. And the first thing we're going to do here is I have a drill with a quarter inch bit on it. That's a slow speed. There we go. Fast speed. And I'm going to drill some holes. Now, people, a lot of people do this stuff outside. I don't believe in doing plastic drilling outside because you get all these little plastic pieces that go all over. So I'm doing this in my basement on a cutting board here that's gonna capture all of those little pieces that come off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a whole bunch of little holes here. I think that's good. There's no rhyme or reason to these holes. I just wanted a whole bunch of them in here. So these look good to me. Now I'm going to make sure that I throw all of this stuff away. I'm not going to actually uh, have this go all over my yard or be inside the Bokashi buckets themselves. Let me just see. Is there any place where I really missed maybe? Maybe right here. I'm being very careful by the way not to hit my hands and you know you should always be careful when using a drill like this. So but I think that might be good. I'll need one more. One more right there and I think we're good. Now, now that we have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over here, but I'm going to try to capture all these little things right on here. There we go. Just look on the inside here. I don't see anything on the inside, so it looks good. Lots of holes everywhere. 
So hopefully this will drain really well. So now what I'm gonna do, put this bucket on top of this one. Now really, probably what I should do is probably remove this thing. Oh, I won't do that. I was gonna say, normally I'd try to remove this so I don't have two of these to confuse me and I might lift up the wrong one. Now, let me go get some food and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with some food scraps. I also have a thing that I can use here to kind of plunge everything and push it down in there to make sure that there's less air, which I did not have before. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle in some Bokashi. So I'm just gonna take some of this Bokashi mix that I have and basically a handful, just kind of spread it around in there. All right, now I have some stuff that's ready to go variety of things. One, banana peels. We go through a lot of bananas in my house. Now this is a chicken, so it's bones. There's some peas in there that were bad, that had seizing on them, so I couldn't throw them away in one of my one of my bins like I normally do. Let me just see if I can get all this stuff out of here now. All right, most of them. So that can be thrown away now. And then, Put this out of the way. I have some other stuff in here. This is just a mixture of stuff. There's actually some a lot of liquid in here too, which builds up, I guess, with these vegetables and stuff. I'm just gonna dump this in. This smells pretty bad. It's already starting to run off into the bottom. I can smell it. But this is just a container full of stuff that was frozen, that I thawed, and I'm adding to this right now. So now I'm gonna be doing this periodically during the week. You know, every other day or so, I'm gonna take some vegetables out. I'm gonna add them in here. It looks great, huh? <laughs> so, and then, but what I'm going to do now, so where's my bag of Bokashi, is I'm supposed to continue adding. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this. Actually, hold on a second here. A little bit more of this to the top. You're supposed to sprinkle some in. I'm probably adding way more than I need, but that's okay. And then, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to compress this down. And I'm going to use this bucket with wax paper on the bottom here as a plunger to kind of press this down. So I'm gonna press it down. That's supposed to remove the air in there, okay? So now it's compressed down. There's probably more liquid coming out of the bottom. I'll drain that off later. But as you can see, I'm gonna leave that wax paper in there to kind of shelter it a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put the lid on. And you're supposed to let this sit. You're supposed to every once in a while open up, not all the time, but just every once in a while you're supposed to open it up. Okay, so I didn't buy the Gamma Seal lid this time since that's like seven bucks and last time it was smelled horrible just in case it happens again. But I'm trying this again. I really want this to work because I want to be able to compost when we buy these rotisserie roasters like this. I want to be able to compost those bones. I don't want to have to throw them away. And I don't have a, a way that I can really save them for, say, a, a, you know, my worm bin unless I grind them up or I grind, you know, dry them out and grind them up and put them in my yard or, you know, it just, it's not, it's not convenient for me. So this is what I'm gonna plan on doing. I'm gonna to try to do this every day this week where I add, or maybe every other day where I add more food to this bin until it's filled, and then I'm gonna let it sit for two weeks. And I'm gonna make sure that I continue to drain off the liquid this time so I don't get those odors. But this can easily sit in your house somewhere, and it's no big deal. It's, it's, it, last time it smelled fine for the first week that I was doing it, it really did. It was perfectly fine, I was draining it really well, and then, around, I want to say, actually it was probably like three weeks in that it finally filled up or most of the way and I was going to let it sit and I didn't realize I still needed to drain it. So you do need to drain this. Now there are people that have also said they've had it for months sitting in these containers, but they have to drain it every day. So that's the key to this. So after this though, I really want to see if the worms can eat it. I really want to have it not smell and I want to have the worms eat this. That's what I really want. I don't want to make it where I have to dump it in the yard again, dig a hole and dump it in and I have to hold my breath the entire time because it smells so bad. So that's what I'm hoping for this time. We're gonna try this out and I will let you know how it goes. I will keep you informed after it's filled. I'll probably have another video and then I'll probably have another one when I go to empty it out probably four weeks after that, you know, between two and four weeks. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you're willing to try this too if it works. I really, really want this to work. If you have any questions, there's a wealth of information online. I'll probably post some videos that I watched on this down below in the description so that way you could see what I was looking at when I came up with this idea of trying to do this to get rid of my bones. Now, 
The other thing is, is the fact that this is apparently really good for worms. Like it looks like it's been broken down. It's changed the texture. It, it ferments the food. It's not hot composting it. It's no air is the idea behind this. This anaerobic environment that's really, really bad for your worms, but really good for the brand that you're putting in. And it basically breaks down the material at the molecular, molecular level. And at that point, it changes it. And then it breaks down very quickly once you add it to something where there's microbes to eat it. So that's the plan behind this. And I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe my videos. Thank you so much.